everyone, welcome back to the show. I'm Adam Kovic. And I'm Bruce Green. And let's talk about some Mass Effect 4. Shepard, you're so cool! He is the coolest guy in the ever. So anyway, do you long for more adventures involving buzz cut marine men and big titty robots in space? Yeah. I, obviously. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're talking about Mass Effect, the finest work of art ever to art. To ever art? Art. Is the, that true? The arts. Lawrence, is it the finest work of art ever? Uh, that's actually true, yeah. Okay. Yep, wait, wait. Yes, it is. Sorry. Okay. All right. When last we left, the franchise commander Shepard had decided that the universe would be red, blue, or green. He sure did. Uh, since then, fans have wondered how the series would continue. Uh, well, thanks to a leaked customer survey on the internet, we might actually know. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, okay. So before we get started, these yeah. leaks seem pretty legit. So we're talking potential spoilers here. Uh, uh, you've been warned. Totally. Now scroll down and complain about spoilers in the comments, regardless. Yeah, that's what you guys do. <laughs> so uh, before we actually get into it, though, let's first look at where these leaks are coming from. Absolutely. Lawrence, take it away. Yeah. 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 So the story broke uh, on the. Mass Effect subreddit late Friday night. A, a now deleted account posted a full copy paste of a customer survey that he or she filled out. As the author describes, uh, quote, sometimes I take surveys online for a little extra money, and quote, one day last month I got one with this. Mm -hmm. And then it's just this explosion of text. Uh, the survey basically provided full paragraphs describing the potential story, gameplay systems, and other details of a next Mass Effect. Oh. And then the survey taker would have to mark their satisfaction with each individual section. I don't believe it. Sure. Well, hold on a second, we're getting there. I mean, There's yeah, more details. So this seems completely legit for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. First off, Bioware games have leaked like this before. They're That's actually absolutely. pretty known for this. As pointed out by a commenter in the thread, Dragon Age 3 details leaked via survey in August 2012. Right. Second, the copy is tonally accurate. Uh, marketing copy has a certain je ne sais quoi about uh, it. An aroma, if you will. It kind of smells like hair gel. Uh, usually douchebags that want to make up stupid rumors just to troll people are also terrible writers. Mm. And that's why this the marketing copy sounds like a marketer wrote it. Mais j'en ai toi. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, and third, this could go either way, but the original Reddit poster has deleted his or her account. There are basically two possible explanations for that. Either the post is entirely made up and the author is trying to cover his or her tracks, mm. is, or the post is accurate and the author is trying to cover his same or thing. her tracks. Yeah, yeah, same thing. It's so a him. We tend to think the latter. Why is that, Lawrence? Uh, it's it's weird. It's kind of like terrorism. People that troll <laughs> wow. want to take ownership of their prank. They want everyone to know, I was the one that fooled everybody. I'm so smart. I'm the biggest cock in the room. Got it. Mm. People that actually leak things tend to cover their tracks because there are serious consequences involved with that. Yeah. I imagine uh, the person who took the survey had to fill out a little disclaimer saying, I'm gonna keep all this shit confidential. Mm. They immediately ignored that and now they're starting to think, oh shit. I might actually be in some real trouble here. Mm. Yeah. I have to try and cover my tracks as best What's I can. What's that? You want another $20 for doing the survey? <laughs> I don't think Never so. Never again. So here's the deal. Nothing is official until it's official. This yes. is a leak. Granted, it feels like a genuine one, but ultimately, it all goes back to some random dude on Reddit. Of course, grain of salt. So yeah. enough nananing. Let's get to the meat. Of the story. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to the survey, Bioware found a way to completely sidestep the variable endings of the original trilogy by making the fourth game take place in the Helios Cluster in the Andromeda Galaxy. That's something we kind of already knew. I Bro, think. I'm going to get beat up behind the school today later. <laughs> this is a pretty common trope in sci-fi. Once you run aground a too consequential plot hook, just yep. throw the entire cast into another galaxy. There are millions of them. So. Uh, this is pretty much how they did KOTOR, so I'm okay with yeah, this. Absolutely. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And as the survey says, you're a Pathfinder, a combat train explorer tasked with finding a new home for humanity. Okay, the survey says that the new galaxy will be four times the size of Mass Effect 3. A lot of numbers. And as you explore, you'll encounter the savagery of untamed lands in the form of cutthroat outlaws and warring alien races. Uh huh. And why not throw in another trope on the fire? <laughs> uh, you also encounter yet another impossibly ancient and advanced alien species known as the Remnant. Lawrence, is, who are they? This is straight up Star Wars now. Well, yeah. it's Star Wars, it's Star Trek, it's everything. Yeah, that's true. It's, this is not profound. This, we've been around <laughs> this block a few times. But so. we said it was art! Sure, yes. <laughs> was that sarcasm? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. So like Halo has the, whatever they are, Forerunners. Mass Effect themselves had the Protheans. Oh, that's that's right. the yeah, that's right. I'm gonna what blow your mind right now, Lawrence. They were the Prometheans. Were they? Well, that was in Halo 4. Halo. Oh, that's right. Oh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. They sound a lot, I know, they sound a lot. And Prometheus. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> the story pitch summarizes it saying that as you uncover who the Remnant were and the mysteries their ruins contain, you are drawn into a violent race to find the source of their forgotten technology that will determine the fate of humanity. Uh, yeah, from here we get into a laundry list of interesting details, so let's get to the listing. <laughs> Uh, the Mako is back, Lawrence. Yay! Yes! Yes! Oh, the war 
Robert Ross from Ratchet Back to Robert. Boom, boom. Uh, the tank thing. Yeah. Uh, either way, you'll get to explore hundreds of planets with your bouncy little Hot Wheels car. <laughs> Only this time, it's not a big waste of time. Well, sure. We'll see about that one. Uh, in keeping with your character description, you'll also be able to decide which planets to colonize. Different types of colonies will provide different resources as well, the usual stuff. Uh, it sounds like a hybrid of the exploration from Mass Effect 1 and the probe mining from Mass Effect 2. Correct. Uh, moving on, loyalty missions are back as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what does the survey say about that, Lawrence? Oh, okay. Well, th so the survey specifically mentions a Krogan squad mate named Drac. Cool. Mm. Drac. Just combining Whatever. Who cares? Yeah. I don't care. So if you, oh. if you help the, uh, the little guy recover a Krogan colony ship from some outlaws, you unlock a new skill tree and presumably some dialogue or story options later in the game. Mm. It's basically exactly like Mass Effect 2. So mm -hmm. that's okay. cool, I guess. Um, uh, Mass Effect 4 will also work in strike missions, which these sound a lot like the automatic side missions that are really common in games like Assassin's Creed yes, that we've been saying. So basically, you'll recruit a bunch of AI-controlled strike team members that will go out and do missions for you, bringing back experience, resources, and unwarranted feelings of accomplishment. Man, Mass Effect really is starting to bring me down a little the bit. The game will just play itself. Uh, it's here's great. The, here's the trick, though. You can also play these randomly generated missions yourself in multiplayer. That's like fun. Uh, you can play with up to four other players, unlocking single-player bonuses in addition to multiplayer specific characters, weapons, weapon mods, and pieces of equipment. Okay. All very, very standard stuff. Uh, speaking of multiplayer, Mass Effect 4 will also include a horde mode. This yeah. sounds a lot like Mass Effect 3. Yeah, uh, the description for this mode doesn't sound all that profound though. Uh, but then again, it was a lot of fun in Mass Effect 3. It actually so, was, yeah. yeah. I probably don't have to change too much. No yeah. straight to far from there. Uh, as the survey describes, up to four players survive increasingly difficult enemy attacks that accomplish objectives like disabling a bomb near a colony base or outside of the usual so, it's exactly like Mass Effect 3. Uh, like the strike missions, you unlock single player currency in addition to multiplayer unlocks. So all um, the same stuff. Like uh, so those are pretty much all the high points. If you want to really dig into the details though, you should go check out the full write-up on Reddit. Uh, Lawrence, so what are we thinking here? How does this all sound? Well, I'm most interested in the story setup. It makes a lot of sense to me for a few reasons. So they have logistical problems with a sequel to Mass Effect 3. Namely, the fact that players could have picked any number of three options, and like the basically humanity was in disarray at that point. Right. So if you're if you're crafting a story and you need the nuts and bolts to hang together, you're just like just put them over there. Yeah. Uh, the only problem is the Andromeda Galaxy is so far away, and Mass Effect, at least when it started, was pretty scientifically accurate. So how did they get there? Wormholes? Magic. Mass Effect. It was, Mass it was scientifically accurate? You tried. Really? The first one was, yeah. Like, the, the codex was actually pretty well reasoned out. Like, the way they achieved faster than light travel, okay. it was all based on element zero. They actually reasoned it out, uh, and it made sense within the setting. They kind of got away from that in later games, but they at least make token efforts to being uh, realistic. So how did they get to another galaxy that should, by all by all rights, be 200 million years of travel away? You right. could see the robots camel toe. But in three, three was terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, what about you? Are you yeah. excited? I, I'm actually with Lawrence. Uh, I'm really interested in them. Take, I think Mass Effect, the original trilogy, was a little too big, a little too space uppery, mm -hmm. grandiose, if you will. I would really like them to go back to the same universe, but dial it back. I think Mass Effect 2 is a good example of that, where it's very much based on characters. I mean, really, you could look at the trilogy and cut Mass Effect 2 out, and it wouldn't really matter, but it probably was my favorite of the trilogy. So I would like them just to focus on the characters across, you know, another new trilogy, something like that. Yeah. Just keep it small. That's really what it is. I, I don't think you need this whole thing that spans hundreds of thousands of years. I think it's an interesting universe. We just need to play in there. It'd be fun. You're describing what they're going to do with Star Wars, which is kind of focus on individual characters yes. from individual movies. And I'm hoping that that's what they do. I mean, like, I didn't play... Mass Effect 1 at all. I think I played like an hour because it bored the hell out of me. That's good. Uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3 I never got into just because everyone said you had to play the first one and I was just like, all right, well, so hopefully Mass Effect 4 will be approachable. I don't have to worry about Shepard. I don't have to worry about Garrus and Rand or whatever. I, I would just much rather just go straight to this game and be like, all right, I don't know anything about this universe. Let's play. Anyway, there you go. Those are our thoughts on Mass Effect and the entire news story. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. We yes. don't know if this is real. True. As always, uh, we're always excited for new stuff from BioWare. They seem to be kicking Absolutely. ass, so Absolutely. I like their work. So please like and subscribe to the note if you want to find out more about Mass Effect. Do you? Do you really want to find that? I do. Okay. I will subscribe. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not sure yet. I'm Wait, I'm already subscribed, so I can't. I. I'll...